Hey, hey, hey. Hey. Anything new in the Tumblr verse? Oh, no, it's on NewYorkTimes.com. Oh, love it. It's more fun. I actually, I think I have a, an article open uh, there when I get home uh, to read. But, yeah. Uh, I don't know. Plenty of time to read it. Um, I suppose. Yeah, can't find a job, so lots of free time. <laughs> oh, sorry to hear that. Well, you know, it's it's tough economy, but like they say, finding a job is a full time job. Yeah. So um, that's what I've yeah. been doing mostly. You um, know what I do mostly? I go on the entertainment news websites and just read about Beyonce's child. I really love Blue Ivy. Is that her name? It is her name. So mm. weird, right? But you know, it's all celebrity gossip. You just yeah. have like, yeah, Beyonce. I mean, it's a really cute baby. Wait, do you read Surrey's Burn book? I do not. It's this awesome Tumblr written from the perspective of Surrey Cruz, and she just hates other. She hates on other celebrities' children. I see. She very much hates. I see. Um, yeah, I don't. Um, my yeah. internet isn't all that great, uh, so I don't get to see yeah. Tumblr and stuff like that too. Well, often you could read a book. I do live in a tenement, um, but. I'm uh, sorry. No, but it's fine. Like, it just has really bad Wi-Fi. You know? Yeah, but you can um, always take a book out of the library. You know, in the first world, that's that's the biggest. Uh, no, buffering is the biggest first world problem. Well, that, yeah. But, yeah. You um, know what I just read that I think you would love? What did you just read? That okay, so it's this book about? called The Night Circus. It's by this woman named Erin Morgenstern. It's oh, her first yeah, book. Yeah, have yeah, you yeah, heard yeah. about this? I have, I have. But actually, you know, I I got it for Christmas as a present from, from my dad, which yeah. is really cool. Uh, but then I loaned it to my roommate, and he hasn't returned it. That's really annoying. Yeah, so it's just, you know, he's been just really getting on my nerves. He's been having a lot of just butting heads. Sorry. Um, so, I don't know. I'm, like, really looking forward to moving out because it means I won't have to deal with him anymore. I just hope that uh, I won't have to, you know... Um, like, I, I hope that, you know, because he's my girlfriend's friend, that, you know, fighting with him isn't going to come between her and me. Yeah, but, so, like, not exactly you know, like the like the friend scenario. Yeah, you. yeah, yeah. Well, it's just, you know, it's it's been kind of like a, a source of, of conflict. Yeah, you know you what's know? really funny, though? Like, my sophomore year, my roommate, we, like, had so much conflict. And you know what's really weird? We don't live together anymore, and we are such better friends. It's just so funny that way. It's like, Weird. you know, Liza and I do not live well together. Getting lunch once a semester, awesome. You Chatting know, and gossiping about other people, extra awesome. I don't know, because, like, whenever I, like, you know, have a falling out with somebody, it seems like I can never really reconnect with that person, and I think it's always because I just feel like it's a, you know, some failing on my part that no. has, has caused us to sort of drift well, apart, and I can never really get over that. I don't know. I just feel like, really down on myself, you know? Sorry. You know, you should take that book back and read it, because it'll really, it's an upper. Yeah? It's really, well, I mean, it's a little sad, but it's just, like, really beautifully written. You'll really like it. Okay. Yeah. Well, you know what? Maybe I will go talk to him about that. Do it. And try to... Have some chutzpah. Get me some, yeah, some chutzpah. Yeah. Uh. yeah. All right. Well, I'll catch you later. I'll see you later. Bye.